In 6 minutes I'm gonna show you everything you need to know to start using 2FAS Pass and make all of your internet accounts secure. Let's get right into it. When you first launch the app, you can either start a new installation or recover your previous vault if you already have one. But for the sake of this video, let's assume you are a brand new user, so just click get started. Now it's time to generate your 15 secret words. They will be used to authenticate to your vault, but don't worry, you will not need to remember them. Click continue and tap and hold the blue button. Alright, as you can see, secret words were successfully generated and the next step is to set up the master password. Master password is what you actually need to remember. As the name implies, it will give you access to all of the other credentials saved in 2FAS Pass, so make sure it is strong and complex. Now it's time for the decryption kit and I need your attention more than ever. This single piece of paper will be used in case of emergency when you lose access to your vault. Now if you don't want your master password to be included in the QR code, click on settings at the top right corner and at the blue toggle button right here. Now I actually want to leave it in there so I'm gonna click it one more time. Now click I understand that and save to PDF file. Alright, we are now ready to use the app, but please, one more time, remember to actually print this decryption kit and store it in a safe place. Let's create our first pair of credentials. Click on the blue button at the top right corner and give it a name. I'm gonna call it Discord account, and by the way, if you haven't already joined our Discord server, make sure to do that, link in the description. Username is gonna be 2FAS. And now click on the eye icon and you can see that the password was already generated for us. You can click auto generate to generate it a couple more times, however many you want, or you can click generator button and here you can specify details. For example, you can set the number of characters. Let's make it 15, for example. You can specify if you want digits or not, if you want uppercase characters or special characters. I want all of them. I want my password to be basically as complex as possible. So leave all of these options to on and click use password. Now we need to add the URL. So it's gonna be discord.com. As you can see, the icon is automatically set. And now let's talk about security tiers. This option is a little bit different. As you can see, there are three tiers which regulate how your credentials are shared with the browser extension. We will cover browser extension setup later in this video and I will go back to security tiers then and tell you more about them. For now, let's just set it to secret. Okay, it seems like everything is ready, so you can click save at the top right corner and as you can see, our credentials were added to the list. And now, as promised, let's work on the browser extension. Go to 2FAS website, click on Password Manager and Browser Extension. Now install the extension, choose your browser and click Add to Chrome. And that's it. You can also pin it for easier access at the top right corner. Going back to your phone, click on Connect at the bottom, Continue. You need to give access to both your camera and push notifications, so do that. And once you do it, you should be able to use a QR code scanner. If you click on the browser extension, it will reveal the QR code. You can then scan this QR code with the scan option and it will share your credentials with the browser extension. And here's a catch, not all of them. If the items tier is set to secret, it will appear in the browser extension as usual. But if you set it to highly secret, browser extension will require additional confirmation from the app. And if you set it to top secret, browser extension will have no access to it. Now I know we already covered adding credentials, but there is a second, perhaps more convenient method of doing that using the browser extension. In the browser extension, click add new. And as you can see, the domain is already there. You can either set credentials in the extension itself or in the mobile app and we advise doing it in the app, so click continue and go grab your phone. As you can see, we got this pop-up, so click continue and now set up username, password and security tier just like we did before. Once you do that, click save and voila, new item has been added to your vault. Let me show you how to actually use the browser extension to log in. 
Discord is an interesting case because you can only use email or phone number, no username. As you remember, in the beginning we've set Discord username to 2FAS. Let's change it directly in the browser extension. Click on the three dots and details. Now I can write my email here. Click update and wait for the notification on your phone. There it is. Click continue and save. Now we can click on the item in the browser extension and it will fill email and password for us. As you can see, I also have MFA enabled and if you are not using any, you can always check out 2FAS. It's free. And as you can see, I successfully logged in. All of this should get you started using 2FAS Pass, but if you have more questions, we have a dedicated playlist with tutorials on our YouTube channel. Even more questions, we have an open Discord server, as I said before, link in the description as well. Subscribe for more tutorials and see you in the next videos.